Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I am going to install Python on Windows machine. So, for installing the Python, first we need to download Python installer. Here I am on Google. Download Python. Uh, we have latest version of the Python which is 3.6.1 we can download latest version so I'm just going to the python.org downloads and here we are going to get installer I'm going to download that installer so here that's a Python 3.6.1 I just click on this and the downloading is started it's a 29 MB file, it's going to take some time. Pausing the recording till the file is downloaded. Here we have the downloaded file. I just click on this exe file. We are ready to install Python. Here we have a run button. Click on this run button. It is asking for install now or customize installation. I'm going for customize installation. Here, few checkbox are already checked I'm just keeping it same next it shows this is the installation location I want to change this location I want to install Python in my C drive Python 36 you can give any name I'm just installing into the C drive with the name Python 36 click on install here it is going to install Python on my Windows machine and once installation is done we are going to get successful message installation is done we are getting the success message click on close Python is installed successfully on my Windows machine next step is to set environment variable so next step is to set environment variable and how we can set how we can set this environment variable for that I'm just moving to the location where we have installed Python so in my case the location was Python C Python 36 copy this path and now we need to set this path to the environment variable for that I'm just right clicking on my computer properties advanced system settings environment variables here we are going to get a variable with the name path so just edit that move to start of this path so I'm on a starting point just paste that path which we have copied and semicolon that's the path where my Python is installed and after that semicolon click on OK OK and okay so now Python is installed and set to the environment variable as well I just want to check Python is successfully installed or not so I'm opening a command prompt and here check Python space hyphen capital V as I enter so it shows Python 3.6.1 is the version of the Python so means I have successfully installed Python on my machine and we set that Python into the environment variable so that is done as well so now we have set up Python on a Windows machine we set environment variable so we are ready to use Python on this machine in this session I'm going to set up Python editor which is PyCharm PyCharm is a paid editor but they are providing their community version which is free to use. So I'm going to set up this community version. I'm here on https jetbeans.com slash PyCharm. Here if you notice we are getting like PyCharm ID for the professional developers. Click on a download. Here they are providing two versions. One is professional version and other one is community version so we need a community version which is free I'm just clicking on the download it's going to download this community version 
and it's a 147 MB file. So I'm going to pause this recording. Once we download this, then I'll show you. Once it is downloaded completely, I just need to click on this exe file, run. Yes, and it's a very straightforward process. We just need to click next, next, install. So it's installing PyCharm Community Editor Setup. It will take some time to complete this installation process. We just need to wait. It's a very simple process. We need not to make any changes in that. So once it is done, I'll show you. Yes, so PyCharm installation is done and we can start it. So run PyCharm Community Edition and just click on finish. So it is starting. Do not import setting. I don't want to import any setting. Click on OK. Accept. And now PyCharm Community Editor is going to be started. As of now, I'm clicking on OK. Create new project. I'm just creating a new project. What is the name of the project that Python project you want to give? I want to give automation. Here it shows which Python you want to use. In my system, we have two Python, so it shows both the Python. If you have only one Python, which is the latest version 3.6, you can keep it same. I'm just selecting Python 3.6 and just create. So now it is going to start PyCharm and my editor is started. So here we have installed PyCharm editor and the window is open. In the next session onwards, I'll show you how we can write code here in the Python project. So previously we have seen how we can install Python. Now I'm going to tell you what is pip, P-I-P in Python. So after installing Python, we need different libraries to perform different tasks. Like if you want to work on Excel sheets, you need a library OpenPyExcel. In the same way, if you want to work with JSON, we need JSON and JSON path libraries. In Python, we don't call it library, we call it packages. So to perform different tasks, we need to install different packages. We have different ways by which we can install package. PIP is one of them. So PIP is a package management system which is used to install and manage software packages written in Python means whenever we need to install any package we can use pip for that so now i'll show you how we can set up pip here on my machine previously we have already set up python so first of all go to the location where your python is installed so in my case python is placed python is placed in my d drive if you check it here we have a folder with the name scripts go inside that here if you check it we are getting pip.exe so pip is by default coming with python just copy this location and we need to make entry of this location in environment variable so go to my computers right click properties advanced system setting environment variables here in the system variables we are going to get path variable just added that move to start of this move to start of this path control v and semicolon so if you check it here i have added my script folder location here in the path variable just click on ok 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 now we have given the location of my pip.exe in environment variable now whenever we want to install any package just start command prompt here to install any package we need to write pip install and whatever the package name you can give it over here like if you want to install robot framework so package name would be like this so whatever the package you want to install you can install it by using pip like if i want to work on excel we need to install package like open py excel enter pip is going to download that package and then going to install it 
but as of now this package is already installed on, on my system so it shows requirement already satisfied but if that package is not there it is going to be downloaded and installed here we have seen what is pip in python it's a package manager which is used to install and manage software packages in next session onwards whatever we are going to install for that we are going to use pip welcome to the testing world so previously we have seen how we can install python and how we can start pip so pip is a package manager in python now to work on robot framework first of all we have to install robot framework package and to install it i'm going to use pip so first of all i'm just moving to the command prompt and pip install robot framework i just enter so pip is going to download this package and then it's going to install it so first of all it's downloading it and once downloading will be completed now it started installation so whenever we want to work on robot framework first we have to install robot framework package as we have seen robot framework website so when we installed robot framework it installed with all these standard libraries now if you want to work on any external li library and we know that robot framework can be used different library so if you want to automate web based application we need selenium library previously we have a library with the name selenium 2 library but now the latest library is selenium library which is for latest version of the selenium which is selenium 3 so next we need to install selenium library for installing selenium library we have a command like pip install robot framework hyphen selenium library so I'm coming here pip install robot framework hyphen selenium library enter so now it's going to install selenium library over robot framework so again it's downloading first then it is installing so we have installed two packages here one is the robot framework and other one is selenium library which is going to be installed over robot framework now the basic packages which are required to start work on robot framework is done in this session i'll show you how we can set up IntelliBot plugin so previously we have installed PyCharm PyCharm is an editor for Python Python code we can write in PyCharm editor but if you want to write a robot framework code that can include Python or that can include robot framework libraries so if you want to write a robot framework code in PyCharm we need to install a plugin with the name IntelliBot. This plugin is used to write Python framework code on PyCharm. So first of all, I'm just moving to the PyCharm. To install it, go to File. Here we have the option of the Settings. Inside Settings, we need to go to the Plugins. Here, check, do you have IntelliBot plugin installed? Answer is no. If no, just check it over here, IntelliBot. If it is not there, search in repositories. It search in the repository and display over here. That's a plugin which is required. The IntelliBot plugin for PyCharm add smart editing feature to support robot framework. Means this plugin is going to help us to write robot framework code. Just click on the install. So it's going to install IntelliBot plugin. Once it is done, it is asking for restart the PyCharm. Yes, I want to restart. Once you are going to restart, I'm just restarting it. So once you are going to restart, after that, you, we will be able to write robot framework code in PyCharm. So here we have installed 
IntelliBot plugin and that plugin is required to write robot framework code here on the PyCharm. In next session onwards, I'll show you how we can write test cases in robot framework. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this video.